Welcome back. Let's fucking do this shit. Alright. Everyone's gonna get healed to full HP here. Let's get this win so we can go back to League Streams. <sighs> the phone is ringing, is it a Big Tub or Roxanne? Thanks for 5 months of great content. Best of luck today. Thanks for all the subs guys. All right, most important item here. White herb on Relicanth. Open my notes. Remember to heal PP. We need more Lepa Berry on Slowbro. Good luck, my dude. that I use. I used like nothing on men's. <laughs> I used one ancient power. Nope. Let's Shadow go ball. Game jam. Shadow sneak. Is that it? Is that all the moves I used? I used one air slash I think but it doesn't even matter. All right. Everyone else gets a Lumberry here because they might have to go up against Scary Swampert at some point if things go horribly wrong. Plus, Ludi needs to be prevented from freezing. Glacia! This is where things fell apart last time. Our strategy this time is much better. Our Ludicolo is much worse. Well, it's not even that much worse. It's pretty much the same. Do we not have a bet yet? Attack and move on, bro. I guess I might as well. Teach it Surf, right? I'm not gonna need Disable. Surf for Drake is a thing anyway. In case of like T-Tar. The only thing I need from these four moves is slack off and recycle now, and then later I only need slack off. Oh, I need toxic, obviously. So. Well, 
Waterfall on Ludi. For the flinch chance or what? I guess. I'm not gonna need Ice Beam. Well, I'm well. I'm gonna need Magical Leaf, but I'm definitely not gonna need Ice Beam. I might as well. The problem is, I want Giga Drain, Ice Beam, and Surf for Drake. <laughs> That sounds stupid, but that is the best setup. I obviously need to keep fake out. I don't see how waterfall is ever useful, to be honest. Like, what am I using it on? Yeah, it'll be Ice Beam over Magic Leaf, but I want Surf for maximum Tyranitar damage, right? So we can kill with Giga Drain into, into Surf. I kind of don't need Ice Beam. It's a strange world where I need Ice Beam for Drake. I guess we can see if... Does Giga Drain Waterfall kill after Fake Out? No. I'm not going to need Ice Beam. The only thing I'd be ice beaming with Ludi on Drake would be like. No, actually, I need it for for Latios. Yeah, never mind. We're not teaching Waterfall. All right, triple check that I have White Herb. Everything else is Lumberry and Lepaberry. Quadruple check that I have white herb. Let's do it. <sighs> My full HP on everyone. Am I missing any important PP on this? Nope. Glacia, I'm back! And I'm out for blood. Let's do this shit, baby. Welcome. My name is Glacia of the Elite Four. I've traveled from afar to Hoenn so that I may hone my ice skills. But all I've seen are challenges by weak trainers and their Pokemon. What about you? It would please me to know. It would please me to no end if I could go all out against you. Well, actually, you know, challenges are somewhat of my specialty. So, this is the reason we kept the one white herb that is in the entire game. There is only one instance of this. White herb eliminates the intimidate here, which means... We get rid of that attack drop. We get to head smash this for a guaranteed kill through Swift Swim. There's permanent rain in this fight. She goes Reg Ice, and we get to kill that too. Now, there's a slight issue, chat. This is a range. It is 15 out of 16 rolls to kill. We can also crit, which makes it a little bit better. If we miss this range, we're not completely fucked, but things are looking real fucking bad. 
Historian? <sighs> Let's do this shit, baby. Okay! Historian puts them in the museum. Get the fuck out of here. All right, last time this dugong is what fucked us. We have a different plan for it this time. Slow bro, show him what you're made of, baby. Let's see Surf here. Completely fine. Now, I did say that was the last PP stall. I did not say that it was the last toxic stall, chat. This is, in fact, the last toxic stall. We gotta make sure that if we do proc the Lepa Bear, we stay above 8 PP for slack off. This is important for Waylord. So we need to recycle if necessary. Get back to full HP. Gotta add two Toxics because this is like every other Pokemon in this Elite Four. Lumberry. Well, except for Crobat, Latios, and Latios, who carry Leftovers and Soldu, respectively. This is fine. Slack off some more. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to recycle before I hit my second Toxic. That should be the safest for PP. We've not- we've seen zero Drill Run so far. Drill Run's a high crit move, so she always has a chance to use it if she doesn't see a kill. Again, we can't get crit here because we're Shell Armor. We specifically try to get a slow poke that would evolve into a shell armor slow bro for this run specifically for these fights This might end up turning into a PP stall after all, huh? All right, we're gonna recycle first. We just gotta stay high on um, slack off PP. Can you fucking drill run like once in your life? 
Fuck, I'm so unbelievably scared of um, Lapras. Lapras and Latias are the big ones right now that are on my mind. It's toxic. Okay, once this is in yellow HP, we will switch. We're going to do a pivot maneuver. Spam healing. Nice drill run. That's really good for us. That means we're probably going to be full HP for Waylord. Okay, slack off once again. <sighs> Come on. So yeah, we have the Lepaberry still. So we're gonna go to Wobbuffet here because we don't need Wobbuffet's HP on this fight. To bait the HP, or to take the HP grass and bait a surf for Ludicolo. And this is surf or drill run. Just get a looty. This positioning means we'll go Lapras and after a Giga Drain we'll be full HP, which means we're not dead to crit. Yet. <sighs> Alright, Ludicolo! We're not gonna fake out because Giga Drain always 3 at KOs. I'm gonna triple confirm this real quick. Which means we'll have more HP recovered on the final Giga Drain. Yeah, it's 34 to 40. All right, baby. Come on. That's really good HP. I think. It's okay. It's a mid-roll. We need a high roll here. Alright, we can die to crit here if we low roll and then he crits. My boy, Looty! This is your chance, buddy! Redeem yourself! That is a good ass roll! Redeem yourself! Yes! Bartender! Serving us a dub! All right, this can be any move. Most likely it's just amnesia. We can't pivot mans because we're dead to water spout crit. That's fine. We have a Lepaberry equipped, so we have more than enough slack off PP. We're not gonna use any other moves here. There's no reason to. 
just slack off. I'm gonna confirm that we have the Slepa Berry. Time to count Water Spout PP chat. That's one! He has eight total. That's two. He'll see a water spout kill here, so we'll always go for it. He can't explode. That's three. Four. Halfway there, boys. Number five. Number six. Hold slow, bro. Hold that shit, buddy. This can be hyper voice, I think. Fence drop. Okay, we're fine. Seven. One more. And that's eight! If we counted correctly, the only moves Waylord has left are Hyper Voice, Self Destruct, and Amnesia. You guys have one guess as to who is switching in now. Just blow up, you piece of shit, please! Thank you. All right. Dusclops always beats Muddy Water or Yawn here. There's still a lose condition here. Muddy Water accuracy drop puts us in a really awkward spot where we have to just click Giga Drain and hope that we don't miss and hit the range. Let's just not get Muddy Water to get dropped, huh? Let's just, let's just not do that. Let's just not do that. All right, here's the question. Can we just double magical leaf? <sighs> I 
It risks crit, and he can get an AP boost. We do still have our Lumberry. I do believe that Giga Drain is just an int. Missing Giga Drain is a higher chance than getting crit. I think this is double Magical Leaf. <sighs> you have to dodge another crit here, buddy. A P boost is also catastrophic. Everyone's saying fake out first is getting permanently banned after the stream. I think this is Magical Leaf. There, there's two options to weigh, right? AP boost slash crit. The thing is, if Ludi dies here, we don't lose. But not doing any damage here is really bad. I'm going to triple check these ranges. Highest damage you can do is 90 damage with Ancient Power. Let's do it. Hold it, Ludi. Hold it! Whew, this isn't happening. This isn't fucking happening again! How much HP is that? I mean, it's always Dusclops, Shadow Sneak, right? That's always the play. I think we should always kill. It's not over, but this Drake is going to be really fucking rough. This Drake is going to be really fucking rough. I cannot believe Ludi got crit on Glacia again. I cannot fucking believe that shit, man. That was... That was with a chance for him to yawn. On both turns he attacked Ludi, by the way. So he had to get non-yawn, muddy water, accuracy drop, into non-yawn, ancient power crit. My slow bro HP is also really bad now. This is going to be really rough, chat. This is going to be really fucking rough. I don't know what the optimal slow bro HP is. We can only end in HP values that he end on two. Optimal is 318. The reason we want that is because Kingdra's Draco Meteor is a chance to two at KO. So if we switch it in, he low rolls. We don't proc Wiki Berry, don't heal, and then he high rolls, we die. I think we just want to get as close to 318 as possible. Which would mean, um, which would mean 314. Or, sorry. Um, 322. I always know what my optimal Wobbuffet HP is, though. So, we need Wobbuffet to take Draco Meteor, but then bait a random move from the incoming Tyranitar. Um, so we want to be 1 HP above the maximum Draco Meteor crit. 
So that's 554 HP. The closest we can get to that is 561. And we want to give him a Lumberry so that he doesn't heal. I don't know what the optimal Slowbro HP is. Sorry. 453 is the max roll from Draco Meteor. 461 is the closest we can get without being underneath. We're going to need some really good RNG on Drake now. And I mean some really fucking good RNG. It's either 312... Wait. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Oh no... Well... I was too nervous. That's probably going to cost me the run. I choked it. I actually choked it. Alright, nothing we can do now. The amount of RNG we need just got increased by quite a lot. I actually fucking choked it. I can't believe it. That I'm not gonna lose to RNG, but that I'm gonna lose to fucking... <sighs> Whatever, man. It's fun. We need Kingner to high roll on the switch in. It's 55%. We're not going to need Air Slash anymore. Rock Tomb into Rock Slide is more damage. So we, and we need to keep Rock Slide, so we choose to keep Rock Tomb over Air Slash. Um, I actually wonder, does this mean it's better to sack Mens to Kingdra?
Because... It, it, it means we can't sack on Latias, so we have to risk the Clops. I just don't know which is more likely to happen. It's kind of hard to figure out. Men's sack was going to happen anyway. <sighs> the problem is Slowbro has to kill Dragonite. Fuck, this is like super over. I have to sack Relly to Mens, right? And then revenge kill with Mens. Or sack Mens to Mens. Sack Mens to Mens, Sack Relly to Kingdra. Is probably better. I don't know, because, no. Yeah, no, I think that's better, actually. And then we have to hard clops on Latias. I think because I messed up the Slowbro HP, I think that's better. Right? So Sack Mence on Mence. Rally takes out Mence with um, Ancient Power. Only 14% of Kingdor rolls are bad for Bro. Wait. If I do Sack Rally... So the problem is with Sack Rally on Mence is obviously I have to now use Slowbro for Dragonite. Which is okay. Um, Mence baits Kingdra, right? So we have a higher chance of him of switching into Ice Beam. I think that's huge, no? Do I have a Pomeg Berry? There's no way. No, it's HP EVs. That doesn't matter. Um, I think it's Sac Rally to Mens. Because that baits Kingdra, and then we have a higher chance of Slowbro doing it. And then we have Slowbro slash Mens for Dragonite. That's actually a decent chance for a 3 mon Steven. I'm pretty sure Mens always kills. Um, after Rally Recoil. I guess there's a chance we get him to Earthquake range, but it's kind of low. 18 to 23. And really HP is 334. It's 
111, 331 minus 111, it's 222. Yeah, we always kill after recoil. And we have a pretty good chance to kill if he earthquakes. That's probably the play. We have a win percent here, but... <sighs> okay. <sighs> what a disaster, man. I'm gonna go through the alternate path one more time. The thing is, the, the problem is Relly is kind of likely to die to Salamence plus Dragonite. Um. Pretty likely to happen. I need Ice Beam on Salamence. So the alternative path is Mence dies to Mence. Um, Rally kills Mence after taking one Draco for 56 to 66. Um, with Figgy Berry we have 375 HP. Um, so minimum roll, 188, maximum roll, 222, and then Dragonite, minimum 147. Maximum 174. Average rolls are like 160. And... Two, 204. Which we live. I think it's a coin flip-ish. The thing is, it's still kind of winnable if Rally doesn't take out Mens. Well, I say that. And then it's hard clops. I think this is better. We need some really good luck here. This needs to be Shell Bell. 
It doesn't really matter, but I think Shell Bell is, a, is slightly, slightly, slightly better. Than anything else. I can't fucking believe this shit, man. Okay. Does this actually win? Because Slowbro will probably be low HP. Right? After King Drop. And we'll probably not be able to stay in versus Dragonite. Wait, I have to play it out this way. I think it's better. I think it's better. Um... Mens? Shell Bell? There's no reason to, right? Figi should just be better. Because the only thing it'll be facing 1v1 is, um... is Dragonite. Alright. I can't believe I get another fucking 5 Mon Drake, dude. Four mon last time. All right, true. Nice swing to bro. Surf to Ludi. Brick break to Mens. Declaw to Mens. Heal PP. Okay. Want uh, Wobbuffet to be as low HP as possible without dying to <sighs> Draco Meteor. Come on! We just need a little bit of luck. First and foremost, I need Wobbuffet to hold. He holds! All right, that was a prerequisite to staying alive. Fuck, I think I should have gone Shell Bell on Mints, but whatever. Alright, we really, really need this to not be Ancient Power. Like, really badly. Punished. Actually punished. Actually fucking punished. Check something. This might be Sackman's.
Wait. Wait. Rock Tomb? Relly is faster. Do we kill? I don't think. Yeah, we, I think we kill after recoil. It's always Draco. He takes 57. How much is Rock Tomb? One hundred on the max. Minimum roll ancient power. One ninety three. He leaves he lives at one seventy four. This is including minus one attack. I'm not stupid, guys. It's Rock Tomb. Triple check the speed stat here, though. Oh, no. Fuck. Hold on. I'm not faster. I'm actually not faster. Shit. I think I need to go for Rock Slide Flinch. I think this is Men's Sack. This gives me the most outs. I'm actually not faster with Rally. <sighs> Fuck. I almost went for it too. I checked the wrong Mon for the speed. That was super close. Um, Dragon Claw crit kills, yeah. It's one in eight. But Rock Slide Finch is one in three. Right? Or 30%. It's just better. I kill after Rock Slide, yeah. It's 40% minimum roll on minus one, 70% after Dragon Claw. I think this is the play. Unlucky. Gotta go really. Slow roll me, dude. Slow, slow roll me. Come on. That's really low. That's really fucking low. Again, the crit word doesn't matter. Never dead to earthquake. Dragon Dance is insane here. Yes! This is a range, by the way. Are you 
fucking kidding me? Am I dead to extreme speed? No. <sighs> okay. We have to risk hard clops on Latias. I have no other plays. We can't switch Duskoffs into a plus one earthquake. That means we just lose. He can't dance. He always sees an earthquake kill. This can only ever be earthquake. It was a really good range too, 93%. This is so scary. This is so fucking scary. I can actually get fucked by my hyper be uh, hyper potion play now too. Please just high roll. Please just fucking high roll. Please just fucking high roll, dude. Please. Please, 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 please. Come on. Come on. Just proc my wiki berry. Yes! We're not out. Hold this shit slow, bro. Hold this shit real fucking tight, man. We lose to missing the range with Dusclops. Unfortunately. Hold this shit, man! The good news is, it might be like hidden power from Latias. It might actually be hidden power. Hold this shit, buddy, come on! Remember, if he kills himself with Draco Meteor, the turn ends and we do not get to slack off. This works in our favor here. Just put me into HP fire range, 50 HP or less. Sick. HP fire. Just fucking HP fire. Fuck. We lose to missing the range now. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Shell Bell actually paying off here. That is not good. Yeah!
attempt! Do not max potion the fucking Wobbuffet, you absolute dumb fuck. <sighs> Boys, there's a lot that can go wrong with three months, Steven. We need to get as close to as 505 HP as possible. 249 plus 200 is 449, which is below what we need to heal to. Hyper Potion. I think we go to 509, right? We either go to 509 or 499. But I think it's 509. It's the same deal as with the Kingdra, except so so both um So so Meteor Mash is a range to kill, right? So if he put he low rolls us and we don't proc the berry, we can die to Shadow Ball from you two. So we want to be as close to 505 as possible. Okay, let's talk about berries. Um Lumberry Slowbro. Shell Bell Dusclops, obviously. Figgy Berry. On Wobbuffet. I'm pretty sure 509 is correct. I wasn't 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it is. It, it should matter only very, very slightly. 499 is better. Well, it's too late now. We need Flamethrower on Slowbro. We need Fire Blast on Slowbro. Slack off and Surf are the other moves. Figgyberry, Shellbell, Lumberry. I think Lumberry is correct because it plays around Thunderbolt Paralysis, which is what kills us. How's our PP? Six Slack off PP. We should probably heal that just in case. Whatever happens here tonight, chat. Whatever happens in that room. Always remember. <sighs> Never forget. Pants stay brown. 
This is for a pilot. This is for attempt 77. This is for Flygon. This is for Liam. This is for Runabun. For Wolfie and for Pulse. For bartender, for historian, and for the max attack mailman who really did deliver. If we get crit once, it's over. I'm gonna check one more time. Figgy Berry. Shell Bell. Lumberry. Let's do this. I didn't read the first few lines, I'm sorry. I'm too nervous. I am fortunate to bear witness to these events unfolding. You overcame all difficult situations by working as one with your Pokémon. I knew you would make it here one day. You. What did you see on your journey with Pokémon? What did you feel, meeting so many other trainers like you? What has awoken in you? I want you to hit me with, uh, with it all. The time has come. Which one will triumph as champion? Let this glorious battle begin. We need to avoid crit and turn one explosion. Explosion's pretty unlikely. Okay. That's pretty good HP. That is very fucking good HP, come on! Don't crit! Yes! <laughs> come on! Only a little bit fucking more! I just need a little fucking more! It's not over, but we're so close! Sack Wobbuffet. My friend, moderator, swinging the ban hammer like no other. Thanks for playing, buddy. <sighs> Dustclops, show him your true power. Show him what you fucking have. We have to dodge Hydro Pump Crit. Come on. Yes! Okay. 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 We're so close. We're so fucking close. Just a tiny bit more. Just a teensy tiny bit more. No attack boost, no crit, not over.
Not fucking over. <sighs> 138. We shadow sneak here. It gives us more healing from Shell Bell and a good range to survive. Two shadow balls will definitely put him into flamethrower range for Slowbro. I think we have it. Oh, it might not, dude. It might actually fucking not. I have to hit it though. I have to sh I have to shadow sneak. It's my only play. I'm too too likely to be dead a meteor mash. There's four rolls that kill me. I think I'm gonna have to shout. I'm, I think I'm gonna have to fire blast. I think it's gonna have to come down to fire blast. Oh man. Still one range that kills me. Plus crit. Easy. Sneak again. Ah, uh, I don't think I can flamethrower this. I don't fucking think I can do it, man. It's ruler strat time, boys. It's time for ruler strats one last time. 42 to 49% damage is what we need to do. I think we flamethrower. One point six centimeters on a four point five centimeter HP bar should be thirty five percent. If I am not measuring by seven whole percent, we flamethrower. Careful now. Yep, that is definitely one point six. This is at 35% HP. Flamethrower deals a minimum of 42. I'm sending that shit, boys. Serene Grace Paralysis. Not gonna matter, we have Lumberry anyway. So Surf is a range. <sighs> we need to heal up. He can never kill us. We just heal. We take it slowly, baby. He can't crit. Shell armor. Sky attack. 132 on the max roll. Surf. 50-50 chance to kill. This is the victory lap, boys! This is the fucking victory lap! Exorcist! Getting rid of our demons! Nurse! Healing us to completion! Come on! Come on! I'll just keep clicking it, boys. I'm gonna keep clicking it. Hit the range! Hit the fucking range! Hit it! We beat Emerald Kaizo! Oh 
shit! game again <laughs> It's over Guys, it's fucking over 151 attempts Almost a whole year down to a week. My chat crashed. Kudos to you, Yan. You're a truly noble Pokemon trainer. I was so fucking scared of losing today. You guys have no idea. I'm forgetting to read. Even I felt bedazzled by your masterful performance. I literally can't read chat. It completely crashed for me. Now I stand at the glorious peak of the Pokemon League. I now proclaim you to be the new Hoenn region. Here's to beating this damn game finally. 34 Wait. months of the best Pokemon content. I forgot about the, the secret May fight, guys. Go get some Jan Pokemon hypers. already over already after a full year 151 attempts <sighs> god we just had to make it interesting in the end that drake fight was insane i'm so glad i didn't send it on rock to my double check the speed oh my god I'm also really glad I went for the men's sack. It was just better. <sighs> Wait, what happened to the badges? Oh. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got you guys, hold on. There we go. From here on, only those trainers who have become champions may enter. I'll have to wait outside with Professor Birch. Thank you guys so much. This room. This is where we keep records of Pokemon that prevailed through harsh battles. It is here that the League Champions are honored. Come on, let's record your name as a trainer who triumphed over the Pokemon League, and the names of the partners who battled with you.
Hall of Fame! Oh shit! Wubbuffet! Dusclefs! My boy Slowbro, they're all here! The Max Attack Mens, the Carry, Relicanth, the Unforeseen, Ludi, the shit Ludi, who got killed, got itself killed on Glacia again! Again! But not this time. Not this time. I'm getting Burger King tonight, and I can get a haircut this week! It's all just hitting me. We're gonna play some Unite. It's gonna be sick. You guys like those pit stains? Hell fucking yeah, I got them. Oh my god, boys. Oh. Fucking cheers. It's over. It's actually over. It's been a fucking year, and so much has happened since then, man. My life has completely changed. When I started this game, I was depressed about the fact that I handed in a bachelor's thesis and that I failed in a college degree that I didn't really want to do. Um, and I only had my stream, which wasn't really going anywhere. I guess at that time we were kind of taking off on YouTube a little bit after we finished Blaze Black, after the Jaden Animations video, but it came off like one of the worst half years of my life. Only to be followed by what is, without a doubt, by far the best year of my life. And I don't like to do the parasocial relationship shit, but it's because of you guys. I'll work the rest of my life to repay for what you guys gave me this year. So thank you. What a game. SHF is in chat, the person who made this. <sighs> Look at all these fuckers that we used. SHF, no offense. I very much appreciate how much work goes into these ROM hacks. And I think they're extremely well made. But I do also think that this game was such a beautiful Nuzlocke game. Was a happy coincidence. To some degree. It was just, it was never meant for nuzlocking. It just happened to be incredible. This was the most fun I've ever had nuzlocking a game. There's so many things to do. There's so many things to test your skill. Is it RNG heavy? Yes. Was this Elite Four about a 50-50 chance to prevail? Yes. But you can do so many things to improve your odds in this game. You can do so much. And I've played no game in my life that's made me better at nuzlocking. Over the course of the last year was the most insane improvement of skill. Shout out to Swallow for carrying the early, mid, and also late game in this run. I am very excited for Platinum Kaizo, especially with Nuzlocking in mind. 
I'm also excited to play Radical Red Hardcore, which is currently being worked on for another new Nuzlocke version, and I will be playing that eventually. Not tomorrow, not next week, maybe not even when it comes out, but eventually. I want to play some Pokemon Unite, I want to play some League, I want to do some wacky Nuzlocke runs for some YouTube content. I want to do another Egglock, I think, and um, a community Egglock. And I want to, I want to finish um, Leaf Green Trash Lock. So we'll do all those things before we return to another project like this. And hey, if it takes another year to finish Radical Red, that means by the time that that game is done, Platinum Kaizo will be out, right? None of the content that I make would be possible without the wonderful hack makers that make these games, but also none of this would have been possible without all the other people that play this game, this game. All the people that provided documentation and strategies and backseating and VODs for me to review. There's too many for me to name right now, but they're all fantastic. I had so much fun playing this game. And I had so much fun showing it to you guys. I think my neighbors fucking hate me now, by the way. <laughs> it's okay, it's Colon before 10pm and it's a Saturday, we should be okay. Oh, we have a caller. It's not Roxanne. Sinister hooded figure. What's up? Your microphone is muted. I. He's just hitting us with the silence, I think. As to the mystery. I really hope that Wolfie can follow suit next week or whenever he's going to beat the game. All right, SHF, listen. You tried. We tried. Thank you for making this game, though. I'm glad I get to tell it to you personally. Oh, this fucking intro screen. Let's walk around Little Root one more time. <sighs> I was so afraid of hearing this music again. The fucking Name Raider show is on? What? What kind of shit is that? How is that even a show? Jesus Christ. No wonder everyone has to resort to chicken fighting to keep themselves entertained. We're reunited with Dad. After Swallow fucked the shit out of him. Don't include that in the YouTube video. <sighs> this is for everyone we've lost along the way. This is for everyone that's gotten us to this point. Godspeed, January.
you're watching on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching uh, the daily channel. For the full YouTube uh, main channel video, we'll do a voiceover anyway. But if you're watching this on the daily channel, thank you so much for watching the series. I'm excited to bring you more of this content um, and other content too. I hope you guys subscribe and leave a like and all that other stuff. You know. Algorithm. Anyway, I suck at these outros, so thanks for watching. So many people tweeting at me. Oh man. I mean, in retrospect, it's sick to lose a mon on Glacia and then bring it back from there. Um, lose a mon on Glacia and make the misplay and then bring it back from there. But I, I don't want to be in that position again. I felt so horrible. Yeah, with a Drake team that was specifically built to be worse for Drake so we have an easier Glacia. Like, this this team losing a mod on Glacia was, like, pretty much wipe. Like... <laughs> Fucking hell. We can go through the death box. I really want to get Burger King, though. Secret base. Should have snuck with Klops? Um, actually true, yeah. You're right. <sighs> no more fucking love disc pond. Slash no corefish pond. No more minus speed Tricos. No more Vulpixes. No more Wingles. No more fucking Meowths. I'll miss it a little bit. Early game EK is really fun. I ironically think early game might be the funnest part of EK. It's either that or uh, like Tain Liza split. <sighs> Can you believe with what kind of a fucking Roxanne fight this attempt started? I literally had to like hit through Para with Kabuto, with Kabuto and like hit a range and shit. And I lost fucking Gloom and Makuhita on it. That was fucking crazy. And then these two were sacked to Watson. Um, this was sacked to Maxi1. This was lost because um, of Shedinja focus band crit that I didn't play around. This was lost because I didn't teach it fly. So like, I think, I think definitely the Makuhita. 
Um, I'm not sure about Gloom, and then Hitmonchan and Pidgeot were misplays for sure. Um, when did I lose this? Oh, this was to Exploding Quillfish when I was trying to fish for it. This was lost way later. This was in like Tate and Eliza Gym, I think. One Death Flannery split still insane. Yeah, true. Actually true. I mean, that's the power of Swellow, right? We lost this in Magma Hideout um, to the... It was sacked to the Quick Claw Torkoal Exploder, dude. Um, this was blown up on Juan. I don't know why they're not in order. Um, I think we sacked this in... It must have been Magma Hideout. Yeah. And then these two were to Tabitha, and this was to Maxi 2. Um, I don't even remember sacking this. Uh, oh, I think I lost it to an optional. Yeah. Uh, this was exploded on Tate and Liza. This was also exploded on Tate and Liza. This was sacked on Tate and Liza. Um, don't want to talk about it. Um, blown up on Archie. Uh, misplay on... Um, on... Uh, eighth Gym Trainers. Same shit here. This was sacked to Wallace. And then these were sacked to Juan. I think this was also sacked to something, I don't remember. Um, and then everything else was like... I think these were like Route 123 sacks. And then all of this is Victory Road sacks. And this is Elite Four. Destiny Bond 123 Quillfish, got it. Oh boy. All right. That's it. That's Emerald Kaiser. I want the save file to have the winning team in the party, so I'm actually going to pick up Ludi here. <sighs> Where do you guys want to go? What's the best place for a secret base? Wait, where was my secret base on my sapphire cartridge? Fuck, I don't remember. I legit don't remember. Oh, we hit the sub goal, by the way. That's insane. Call Roxanne. This Jan? Congratulations! I've been hearing about you. As for me, I need some more time before I can reopen the gym. But when I do, please visit my gym for a rematch. Maybe one day. What is the best secret base place? Where would I want my secret base to be? I think Duford's really nice. I don't know if there is any places in Duford. East of Fortree. I know one of my friends had their secret bases there.
Hmm. I think there's only one appropriate place. And that's as close to Roxanne as we can possibly get. Did I sell all my max repels? I think I kept like one, right? Yeah. I actually picked up cut in this room. All right, Salamence. It's time, baby. Get those max IVs on that cut tree. I guess the lower one would be the closest to Roxanne, huh? Absolutely wonderful. I'm so fucking happy. Mostly because I really didn't want to play this game again. Yeah, this is what 1,000 euro rent gets you in Stuttgart, by the way. <laughs> Alright. Boys! It's been a pleasure. It's been an absolute pleasure. I don't have much else to say.